Hello there everyone, my name is Sean TTM and welcome back to another gaming video where today we're playing more Minecraft story mode. So last time we ended up in a world full of zombies escaping to a mansion and what on earth have I found? Multiple YouTubers who <laughs> I which is honestly kind of incredible. But first we're gonna to talk to the Minecraft story mode uh, crew. Hey guys. Hey Jesse, how's it going? Mm. Yeah, find anything out yet? My torque dog was you know. Shocked. Uh I actually just wanted to talk to you guys first. You know, check in on how you're doing. Yeah. Oh. Uh, we're fine. Yeah, for the most part. A little weirded out with this whole situation, but other than that, I'd say we're fine. <clears throat> Very kind of you to ask, though. Yep. Uh, guys, have any theories about what's going on? Nothing concrete yet, but Lizzie and Dan over there seem like they might be hiding something. I was developing a theory that Sparkle was in on it, but even I have to admit, he just seems too nice. Yeah. True that. That's a good idea, Lucas. Thanks. Yeah, well, Dan isn't exactly one of the most dangerous people in the world. I'm gonna keep asking around about Tork Dog. Good luck. Yes. Happy investigating. Yep. Maybe if I come back to them later with more information, I can unlock more things. First, we're gonna talk to Cassie and Captain Sparkles. Hey, Sparkles and Cassie Rose. Cassie Rose. Yeah. Yep. Hi, that's me. Mm -hmm. Hey there, Jesse. Oh, Winslow says hi, too. <laughs> oh, okay. Do you mind if I ask you guys some questions? Person. Nope. What are the questions? Okay. Uh... Cassie, mm -hmm. you seem pretty upset about people wanting to poke around mm -hmm. Torque Dog's mm -hmm. inventory. Oh, was I? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, you were. Why was that? Oh, it was just so... It's insensitive, right? I mean, it, it had just happened, and she was all curious about what was in his pockets. It just made me mad, I guess. Hmm. Got any guesses why someone would kill Torque Dog? Yep. Uh, gosh, gosh. Um, he was a little prickly around the edges, you know? You'd have to ask other people about that. I, I didn't really know him. Yeah, talk, talk. Neither did I really know. I don't want to say anything mean about a guy that's not here to defend himself, but, well, you met him, right? Prickly is yeah. kind of an understatement. If you want to encounter what Talk Dog was like, uh, you'll have to check out the last video. There was drama between Lizzie and Talk Dog, right? Got any insight? Sorry, I'm not getting wrapped up in that. Especially now that Talk Dog is, you know. But it's well, weird, right? It definitely seems like there's some beef. Uh, not that I um, want to get into rumors or anything like that. Sparkles, Cassie, Winslow, thanks for the time. No problem. Okay. Uh, yeah, anytime. Get anything out of them? Mm -hmm. Found out this group has a whole lot of secrets they're keeping from each other. It's definitely something. Okay. Next up, we're going to talk to Stacy Plays and Stampy Cat. Other than um, one of the other YouTubers here, Stampy is one I have a... I've seen a few hey videos of, but Stampy and Stacy, right? But I've not really seen. Uh, uh, hey, Jesse. I've not really seen a What's lot of Stampy's videos. I've seen some stuff. Nuts right now, but I've got some questions. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Uh, but what? Okay, let's talk about it. Seems like Lizzie and Torque Dog really didn't like each other. Know anything else about that? Mm -hmm. Oh God, real shame, real shame. When? He broke into her house and stole a bunch of stuff from her. Ooh. She was super upset about it. Oh, Don't say. Now it makes sense. Stacy, you seem pretty curious about what was in Torque Dog's inventory. What's up with that? Well, Torque Dog was a pretty notorious thief. I was just curious what he had. That's it. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't really know much about Stacy Plays, so I don't really have much Anyone to say. Anyone you can think of that would want what? something bad to happen to Torque Dog? Um, well. I never had that big of a problem with him personally, but I know other people did. Quite a few, actually. Mm. I don't know if you noticed, but he was a bit of a griefer. Yeah, and a thief. 
Ooh. Thief, huh? Uh huh. Interesting. Thanks, you two. This has been enlightening. No problem. Yeah. We appreciate no the help. So, did you find anything out from Stacy or Sturdy Cat? Stampy. Stampy. Cat. Right, right. Stampy. So Get it right, people. Out. Apparently, Tork Dog was a well known thief. A thief, huh? That might have something to do with it, don't you think? Agreed. Yeah. There's only one last place to get some inf wait a minute. We can talk with Cassie and Sparkles again. Let's check. I asked Stacy about why she wanted to see Torque Dog's inventory so bad. She said she was just curious. Huh, just like me. What a coincidence. Thanks, guys. You got it. Okay. What she said. Next, uh, there's one last place to go to. Let me know what the name is. Lizzie and Eldie Shadow Lady, but otherwise known apparently to our friends as Lizzie, and Dan, TDM. <laughs> hey there, Dan. Lizzie? Oh, uh, hello? Hello. Hi there. If you don't mind, I actually had some questions yeah. about this Tork Dog situation. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Tork Dog was clearly, clearly targeted too. with this trap. Why yeah. him? Well, he was bragging about having some kind of rare item. Ooh. Wouldn't show it to anyone, of course. Typical Tork Dog. Seemed to have an ego. Uh... Seemed like people were really interested in seeing Tork Dog's inventory. Any idea why? Mm -hmm. An adventurer like him? He could have had all kinds of cool stuff. Uh -huh. Lizzie, okay. seems like you're not much of a Tork Dog okay. fan. What's the deal? Well, I already know. He broke into your house. Oh, come on. You met him, right? Nobody liked that guy. I'm just the only one who will actually admit it. Okay. He, um, yeah, he definitely wasn't the nicest person. So, Lizzie, mm -hmm. I heard something interesting about you and Torque Dog. Yeah? What did you hear? Hmm. I'm sure there are all sorts of rumors floating around out there. I heard he stole from you. Whoa, would you keep it down? Okay, yes, he did. He stole one of my creeper head trophies. It's my very first one. I just don't want to mention it before because I didn't want to look guilty. Wait, creeper head? This isn't about Ouch. the... No, not in front of... And no! Dan, what are they talking about? Dan, you seem surprised by Lizzie mentioning a stolen creeper head. What did you think Torque Dog had stolen from her? Uh, remember that rare item you were asking us about before? I didn't ask about a rare yeah, item. It's that, and I'm still not going to talk about it. Jeez! Sorry. You're as stubborn as a mule, Mr. Diamond Minecart. Whew. Although, considering if we met in real life, I don't know if I'm the guy you'd ask for. I'm not saying Dan's bad. I'm just saying he probably wouldn't be happy if our names are similar. So this rare item that Torque Dog claims... Now I'm have, asking! What can you tell me about it? We don't know exactly. Yeah, sorry. Okay. Suspicious. Okay, that's it for now. Thanks. What'd you find out? It's all tangled up, but it sounds like Tork Dog claimed to have some sort of rare item. People thought it was something he stole from Lizzie, but all he stole from Lizzie was a creeper head. I didn't see anything like that in his inventory, though. There was no... Something's not quite adding up here. So, Tork Dog was a thief, and he supposedly had something rare, but it feels like there's still a piece missing. No one will tell me what this rare item is. I, uh, I think I can shed some light on that situation, actually. Sparkles! Oh. Hey! Now my curiosity's piqued. Oh, thank goodness someone's being direct with me. Thanks, Sparkles. Thank you. Thanks, There's Captain. A way out in the middle of nowhere. No one knows who built it, but it's been there forever. Mm -hmm. People have been trying to track down the devil's location for ages because they want this treasure. Supposedly deep in its basement. Wait a minute. Now, it looks just like an ordinary flint and seal, but it's actually super rare. It's got this enchantment on it. It can open portals to other worlds? Exactly. Wait, what? You 
know that they traded flint and steel? I didn't know it. I actually have one of my own. I actually have one of my own. Really? Sparkle. Yeah, I do. Just used it a little while ago. Just put that away. You, you can't just pull that out here. Okay. Uh, you know, I had a theory about why you were here, and I, I think this might just prove it. Okay. Everyone? Oh, I completely didn't notice the cake there. How come none of these guys have actually eaten it? Here. Why, uh, Torque Dog died? Uh, and Jesse has just uncovered a very important clue. What? Really? Woo! Whoever killed Torque Dog, whoever invited us, they're after the enchanted flint and steel. <laughs> Sparkles! Oh my word! Hold on. Calm down! No! What the? Nani? Adventurers, I am the White Pumpkin. White Pumpkin? You is the treasure I desire. I will rest until it is mine. Even if I have to resort to murder. Shut up! Shut up! Painting again! How did you? How did his hair change again? Stampy's got a point. I saw him in the window. I told you. My theory is that he owns the house. Or she owns the house. It's a voice changer after all. Hey, hey. She opened the door, didn't she? Oh. Don't let the walking dead in! Shut the door, shut the door! Exactly! Oh. Come on! Hey, 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 where is it? Where is it? Where is it? And B! Keep out! It's someone. Oh, wait. What is it? Lucas, what have you seen? Oh! Oh my goodness! Oh! The axes! Well, I guess I'm next then. No! no. I'm off! Not happening. Well, your inventory's clean, right? No flint and steel? Why would he want you? I suppose he's just being thorough. Also, I'm sure I've got something. Well, I mean, Ivor well, was sure a member of the original Order of the Stone. Is doing all this. He I might mean, have something. The whole place has got to be rigged with traps, right? Torque Dog, trap. Sparkles, trap. Yeah, we need to find out what makes these traps tick. Mm -hmm. We're also going to need to do some interrogation. We need to understand everyone. All right, I'm going to investigate that dining room. Cool. I'll keep those guys in the hall for now so I can keep an eye on everyone. An excellent idea. Don't want them messing up the crime scene. I'm sticking with Danny here. That doesn't seem safe to wander off alone. Okay, people, clear out. This is a crime scene. We get. <laughs> okay, oh. how are you doing this, White Pumpkin? Let's look at the fireplace. Maybe there's something there. Anything? Nah, looks like a regular old fireplace. The sand trap. Man, poor sparkles. Crust under sand. Oh, really nasty way to go. Uh, it's better than being crushed under wrecking balls. And don't ask how I, how I know that. 
Oh, you think you're so tough, Mr. White Pumpkin, but you have no idea what you've jumped into. <laughs> you may be a white pumpkin, but I am uh, the, the terrifying madness. I literally represent everything that should not exist in reality. Let's see, that is why I hide from others. You think you can beat me, but I'm capable of things you can o that you kind can only dream of creating or destroying. This looks like the exact spot where the white pumpkin appeared, but yep. now just a portrait. Yep. Unless punch. <laughs> there he is. It's just a costume on an armor stand. With a jukebox for the voice. No sign of how it was triggered. Wow. The white pumpkin must have some amazing redstone skills to rig up something like this. Yeah, well, why? It must well, have taken a lot of work to rig up. It must have been a diversion from whatever was going on in the room at the time. What, like you think the white pumpkin was in the room with us? Possibly. Everyone is a self suspect as except from the main crew because well they they were with us when we saw the white pumpkin now let's examine the dining table buttons buttons okay so this was the dining table where we were all gathered together right before button let's push it Okay, let's give this a shot. Just like before. Greetings, adventurers. I am the White Pumpkin. Yep. One of Just the like most treasure I desire. And I will not rest until it is mine. Even if I have to resort to murder. Jesse! Run! Don't worry, everyone. And his hair he changed again. White pumpkin costume on an armor stand. Wait, what? Why? The trap that killed Sparkles, the whole show with the white pumpkin, it was all triggered by a button on the table. But what does that mean? I am so creeped out right now. Understandably. Yeah. It means that the white pumpkin sat at this very table and pushed the button. Wait, so you're saying that the white pumpkin is one of us? That's right, Mr. Stampy. One of us is a murderer. Where did that come from? And he sat right here. Wait. That Wait, but that's one? not where Jesse found the button before. There's more than one? I'll but see if I can find all of them. There might be a button nice everywhere. Jesse. Yes, I must say I'm relieved to know that there's a logical explanation for what the White Pumpkin's been doing. So what now? Feels like we've made some good progress so far, though, right? We need to figure out the most likely suspects and interrogate them. Judging by the tipped arrows in these traps, the White Pumpkin must have some serious chops in brewing and redstone. Okay, that's There must all. be a Minecraft you know, pro! And I'm pretty sure all these YouTubers before. may have be, be good at these Minecraft. The seats that had a button to activate the trap. That means the White Pumpkin could only be Dan, Stampy, Lizzie, or Lucas. Wait, you're accusing us? Wait, what? I echo their sentiments exactly. I didn't even see a button. Okay. Hey, 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 I'm not accusing anyone yet. It sure sounds like you're accusing us, stranger, and I don't care for it. I'm taking charge Calm of the Calm down, Stampy. Of just stop it. I want everyone it. separated. I'm going to talk to each suspect one by one so I can find out who's telling the truth and who's lying. I've got a whole lot of questions, and I want nice little matching answers for each and every one of them. Understand me? Loud and clear. Yes, crystal clear. Who are you going to interrogate first? Let's start with... Lizzie. That's alright, LD Shadow Lady, let's start... Wrong way! Wrong way! <laughs> <sighs> oh yeah, White Pumpkin, you're facing a force with four seconds. Slay the Divines. You literally can't kill me. Why are they wearing a top hat though? How did no one see these before? This month before it's no weird pink. Okay. Jesse, listen. There's been a lot of talk thrown around today. 
I don't know what people have told you. I don't know what you believe. But I'll just admit it. I want that enchanted flint and steel as much as anyone. Yeah. Probably more than any of them. I've been searching for it for years. Okay. Do you know how much it's stung to have Dan? Dan! Swoop in and take it from under my nose. Wow. Dan! Did you kill someone for it? Dan took it? Nah, I wouldn't do that. I'm starting to get real irritated with this white pumpkin fella, though. Okay. Listen, I just want to get out of here and get on with my day. What do you have to hear to be convinced that the white pumpkin isn't me? Evidence! Know what this is? is? Tipped arrow. Kinda shoddy work, though. Definitely not one of mine, if that's what you're wondering. Some noob made that thing. Stampy asked Ooh. me once about how to make those. Could be one of his. Stampy? Oh, I taught Cassie and Stacy how to make those a while back. Wait, Stampy? That guy's too... That Stampy can't kill any... In, I'm not the type of guy to commit murder. I'm just gonna be straight. Who do you think stole the flint and steel? Well, it wasn't me, if you're curious. If I had an enchanted flint and steel, I'd be off exploring some other world with it. But me and Dan have been competing to find that thing for years. You're looking for a likely culprit? I'd look at that guy. I've been watching Dan's videos since I was a kid. I really don't know if he'd do that. But I haven't. You like using redstone? Ever make traps with the stuff? Mm -hmm. I'm fine, I guess. I can make lights and doors and stuff. You want to do advanced stuff? You gotta talk to Stampy. He was the tri block champion. Tri block champion. champion? Yeah, like two or three years in a row, if I recall correctly. He's a dean. Thanks for your time. Yeah, I've seen That's Stampy's videos. He's incredible at building. Who's Speaking up of Stampy Cat. Thanks Bring him you. here! Right. <sighs> Hello! That was, um, Lizzie on her way out, right? Listen, I don't know what she told you, but... Jesse, I'm telling you, this is just crazy! Absolutely crazy! Total misunderstanding! So... I don't even want that flint and steel thingy! Not, um, as much as the others at any rate! Yeah... Did I hear someone saying that it has something to do with portals? I don't have any interest in portals! No, sir! Not for all Mr. Stampycat, thank you! Stampy... It's me, Stampy! Everyone's friend! Ali! You I seem nervous. Okay. You're nervous. rambling a lot. Everything okay? You comfortable? You're uh, rambling what? on? No, I'm not nervous. No, totally comfortable. I could fall asleep right here. Right now, I'm that comfortable, honestly. Sus! Why did I say that? Please, just tell me what you want to know. Uh, I'm going crazy. Uh, what do you know about redstone? Red What's your skill level with, with the stuff? stuff? Oh, well, you know, about average. Average level moderate? I, I don't know how these things are graded these days. That's funny. I heard from Lizzie that you were the tri block champion. Who? Me? <laughs> oh, what a lot. No, Stampy. No, no, she must be mistaken. I've watched your videos. I've and... been getting really into the stuff lately, though. Just putting that out there in case you're curious. Dan's more into custom mod adventures. Or, uh, or was. He's, he's more or less it. What about you? Know anything about this? Oh arrow. wow! What is that? Some sort of magic arrow? No, I've never seen anything like it before. Honest. Dan could probably tell you something though. He loves weapons and all of that. I've seen him use swords, but swords in Minecraft, but it was swords. Not not arrows. Okay, enough dancing around. Who do you think the took the flint and steel, steel Stampy Cat? Tell me honestly. I don't think it was ever actually stolen. No? Really? Yeah, so Dan got it ahead of Lizzie, right? And she was pretty angry about it. I think he made up that story about it being stolen, so she'd think he didn't have it anymore. Classic Dan move. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez, Danny boy. Thank you for your time. Ah, oh, thank goodness. Why this room's making that? me very nervous. Not that it's any of my business, really, but make sure you ask Dan about that flint and steel. He's got quite the history with it. Oh. Ready for Dan? Yeah, send him in. The, that diamond minecart. Honestly, a YouTuber who... Hey, I, I don't know what the other's been saying, but you, you have to listen. Okay. I'm telling you, you've got the wrong guy. Honest. I would never hurt anyone. You've got to believe me. Well, not for no if reason. If anyone's been wronged here, it's me. 
That enchanted thing that still everyone's talking about? I found that. That's mine. At least it was before someone stole it. Okay, Danny the boy. Thing's gone completely crazy. People getting caught in horrible traps. Everyone accusing of blaming each other. Yeah. Funny, when we were talking about the rare item before, you were pretty tight-lipped. Why so eager to share now? Tell us, Danny Why? boy! People are dying over that thing now. I just want you to know the truth. Especially with Lizzie so jealous of me beating her to it in the end. Jeez, you seem kind of an aggro. I'm not the white pumpkin. You've got to believe me. What can I tell you to convince you? Give me the... Show me the arrow. Know anything about this? Oh, wow. Uh, no, I've never seen anything like that before. Tip. No? Mm -hmm. Tipped arrows not ringing a bell? Made using potions? Talk. Nuh-uh, but you want to know about stuff with potions? I'd ask Lizzie. She's way better with that stuff than I am. I always go to her with potion questions. What? Noted. Is Dr. Treoris not good enough anymore? Out with it. Who stole Don't the Flynn Flynn seal? seal? I, I don't know. I don't know anything about it. And you just expect me to believe that? Seems to me that your name's been coming up connected to that Flint and Steel a lot today. Come on, Danny boy. You can trust me. <sighs> but I want to ask, do you think the white pumpkin is Stampy Cat? Yeah. Actually, yeah, I do. With the costume and the crazy games, it's got Stampy Cat written all over it. Really? How's your redstone, Dan TDM? So, how do you rate your redstone knowledge? Me? Oof, not much. Not really my scene. You want to know more about that stuff? You should ask Stampy. He was the tribe of champion. Yeah, three years in a row, according to Lizzie. There, you see? He's the only one here who could have built such amazing traps. Really? You can go now, Dan. Thanks, Jesse. Thank you. Oh, come on! This is nuts. You had a button, too. Fair is fair. It's your buddy's turn next. Okay. You seem kind of angry, though, Cassie. Hey, Jesse. Ah, my final suspect. Here to point more fingers and blame more people, I'm sure. I didn't push the button, you know. I figured. Thanks, though. How's it been going in here? It is just non-stop whispering and rumors out there. Me, Petra, and Ivor pretty much been sticking to ourselves. You know, it's been rough. Mm -hmm. These people it's have so, so much, much drama stronger. going on, it's hard to tell what's about the flint and steel, what's about the white pumpkin. Well, I know you can do it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Lucas. Thanks. Come on, suspect. It's time to return to the others. I don't really have oh. much to accuse a lot of have people. Yes. Who do you think the white pumpkin really is? Now, hang on, hang on, everyone. First of all, I want thank to thank you for all. answering my questions. Thank you. There's still guys. not percent proof of anyone, but, but who would it be? 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 Jesse. I don't really know. Jesse honestly. Was definitely questioning Stampy the longest. What? No. Dan was in there way longer. Hey, not cool. Guys, guys, come not, on. I don't know who I want to. There's evidence to accuse anyone yet. What? Yeah, that seems surprising. Really? I'm sorry, but yeah. I don't want to accuse anyone unless I'm 100% sure, and I'm not. How about you wow. stick in a group? You take a bold stance, Jesse. Well, well to... I for one am not comfortable being surrounded by possible killers, so if you'll excuse me, I'm going to barricade myself in a library for my own sake. Fine, suit yourself. Yeah, I'm more in the safety and numbers camp myself. Just stay together. Well, the White Pumpkin weren't attacking a group excited. unless they have yeah. super, no super strong the fighting abilities. He might be trying to set up more traps. We, we don't know if the White Pumpkin is a new dialogue. Like, we know that the Sparkles trap was triggered by those buttons under the table. But what about the trap that turned Torque Dog into a pincushion? If we figure out how these things work, we might be able to find more proof about who the White Pumpkin is. How they're operating. I'm not sure, but the White Pumpkin didn't trigger it until Torque Dog was in the exact right spot. That means he must have been watching from somewhere. Yep, because we know it definitely be... wasn't... Yes. Us, the like gang, and the, the deceased the sparkles. Rest in peace. You guys go on ahead. I'm gonna stay here, keep an eye on these other people. I don't want them trying anything when we're not looking. Thanks, Lucas. Back in the kitchen. So, what are we looking for exactly? Something. Buttons like back in the dining room? We just need more evidence. 
Anything that can draw a link to one of these people. Mm -hmm. Got it. I'm on the lookout. Okay. I think we're going to call that it for today. So, oh. Thanks for watching. If you did enjoy the video, then press the thumbs up button to like it. Press the subscribe button to join TTM Squadron to help the channel grow and evolve. And press the bell button to get notified whenever I make a brand new video. Anyways, other than that, thanks for watching. Enjoy, enjoy your lives. Don't end them. Not worth it. And I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.